Hola. Hi, vlog. <gasps> Your girl did it. We're in a whole different state right now. I just flew a plane. This is really happening. It's really real. We are in Zimba. We are in Zimba. And, uh, boy, my first flight. <laughs> But I just got to I just got to my friend's apartment and I'm gonna take a quick body shower and then I'm gonna eat my motherfucking churro that I never got to eat because it was a whole ass mess. Um so yeah, I I, I will get back to you, but hi, hey, how are you? Oh no, that was giving too much Jeffree Star. Hey <laughs> Missed you, love you, it's been a while and way back with a new a new vlog a new vloggy vlog okay i'll check in in a minute hola you can tell what i'm watching my favorite show mm. i don't know if i could be a flight girl i'm actually gonna throw some rollers in my hair but I got these from Five Below, and so I'm gonna try them out. And I don't have a mirror. Actually, yeah, I do. <laughs> Not me laughing when he laughs. I love Daria. It's my comfort show. <laughs> Denver airport is fucking nuts. Absolutely nuts. Like, what the f My flight was delayed two hours. So I wasn't gonna be taking off till like close till 10. And then, so we so we stayed home, right? Cause it was already five o'clock and I was gonna get to the airport at seven. So we leave the house like 6.30, 6.40, right? I get to the airport a little after seven. I go, I pee. <laughs> And then um, I bought a churro and a water because number one, I've been craving a churro and number two, I was thirsty. And so I got all that stuff and then I sat down and I was like, I need a book. I bought a book and as soon as like I got to like the bookshop, which wasn't very far, it wasn't very far at all from my, from where my gate was. So I get the book and then I hear like my flight number. I'm like, oh shit, I think like we're about to board because I love my mom. So my dad said, oh, it's gonna be a roller coaster. And he wasn't fucking playing. It legit felt like a roller coaster. Like, you know, when you go over a hill and like your stomach goes up, it was that feeling like for almost an hour. And I'm thinking to myself, Miss Girl, and you wanna go to other places? Like how in the hell? if you're this uncomfortable right now. Like I was so like uncomfortable, like my stomach kept doing flips. And so I finally couldn't take it anymore. And I'm like, I need my Zofran or else I'm going to get sick. Cause I was like having to talk myself out of it. And I'm like, you're not gonna get sick. Like you're fine, like don't worry. And then I was just like, it, my stomach was flipping too much. And so after that, like I took it and then like it started to kick in and I'm like, okay, like I can, I can handle this. I can tolerate this. And then I started getting anxiety just because we were still up in the air and I was still like, even though the, the nausea medicine worked, I was still like, you know, a little out of it. Right. So he gets on there and he's like, sorry, like we're going to have to delay it because like we're going like right into a storm. Those turns were like fucking with me because it felt like a roller coaster, but slow mo. I don't know how to explain it because like when you're doing a roller coaster, it's like, okay, you're gonna recover from it. No biggie, like it's fine, it's fine. But with this, it was just like slow turn and I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, like to the nth degree. It's already like 1040 at this point and um so we're going in circles and i'm getting to see this beautiful view of um the moon and stars and i'm just like oh my gosh so i actually got like inspired to like paint so i think that's what i'm gonna do when i get home um but 
Yeah, dude, like my legs were hurting. Like I was starting to get like spasms, just anxiety on a thousand. And then, you know, finally he's like, okay, we're, we're going to touch, we're going to go ahead and touch down in, in Denver. And I'm watching a whole lightning show. Like, if you ever heard the song Blinding Light Show, that's exactly what I was, what I was seeing, but like up in the air. And it was the craziest shit to me. So we finally touched down. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Thank God um, Rosa's friend was like on on standby, talked me through the airport. Um, Cause honey, <laughs> honey, honey, honey. I was like not feeling it at all. And so like, thankfully she was like, you know, go here and do you see this airplane in the air? And I'm like, no, I don't see it. I don't see anything. And uh, so finally, like I saw it, I had to take like a, a metro to get to the exit and the baggage claim. And I'm just like, what kind of foolishness? Like, what kind of tomfoolery? And I didn't want to check my bags. Like I, that's like, no, I don't want to check my bags. And thankfully I didn't have to. So I just had like my two little, like my carry on luggage and then like my duffel um, that I posted on TikTok. And so, bloody hell, it was just fucking nuts, dude. It was just nuts trying to get out there. And then I was gonna take the metro, but your girl was fucking tired, dude. Like, fucking tired. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just, I'm just gonna get an Uber. $40, $40 for just a few miles. And I'm like, oh my God. But the guy was so sweet. He, he was giving me like such good vibes and like, you're gonna do great like you're gonna be great out here and i'm just like oh my gosh i needed that because i i yesterday i was talking to god and i was just like send me a sign that everything's gonna be okay and sometimes you don't always get the signs like when you need it sometimes you get it you know when you're least expecting it and i'm just like thank you i needed i needed that good energy and he was so sweet so <laughs> i touched down i went to the wrong apartment Trey and Barras. I couldn't get in first because like it's a code and I was supposed to push a button before but I didn't know that and thankfully this girl came up behind me she's like are you trying to get in and I was like yeah but I didn't want to seem like a creep but um she you know she let me in I did because she saw my luggage and I went to the wrong door and so I'm talking to Rosa because I kept trying to open it and like, as I, as she told me, she's like, no, like, wrong apartment. Like, I already unlocked the door for you. I'm like, ooh. So I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm trying to, like, go up the stairs. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I got to go up three flights of stairs. <laughs> and my shit's heavy, dude. Like, my duffel is heavy. Like, I don't know. Can you see it? That's just from my duffel, like, carrying it up the stairs right now. So I just, I set myself up in here. I'm just, you know, cause they're not here. Yeah, it's, it's, it was hectic. It was confusing. I can understand now why my mom gets so sick when she flies. And I was battling, dude, last one. So yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna walk to Starbucks tomorrow. Like tomorrow should be really nice. And then we're gonna go downtown to go get my cap and gown. I'm gonna probably go to Target and uh, like get some stuff, you know, here. And yeah, we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna chill here. I'm gonna eat my little churro. I'm gonna have to heat her up. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my churro and then, you know, I'm gonna eventually doze off. So I didn't put my lip balm on. Who am I not putting my lip balm on? Anyways, let me go get, let me go get myself right before I go to sleep. But I'm probably just gonna stay up watching Daria. We'll we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah, love you so much, and we'll talk in the morning. Good morning, vlog. I'm not gonna lie, I did not get much sleep last night. <laughs> oh my god. But we're here. I woke up. I went to sleep at one, and then her sister got here at three, and I I didn't know she was coming, so I put the deadbolt on. And I hear like knocking on like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> I got real scared, y'all got real fucking scared. And then it was her 
and uh, I, I, you know, was kind of like in and out of sleep. I woke up at five, and then I woke up again at seven, and I've just been like laying in bed. So I was like, you know what, get up. But the thing is, see, I packed for Texas weather. I didn't pack for Denver weather. <sighs> it's 61 degrees, and I don't know how the fuck. Like, I don't have any long sleeve, nothing. I didn't bring not one jogger, not one set of warm ups. Like, the only pants that I have are like leggings. Just putting on um, some glow screen right now because we're gonna walk. Even though it's cold outside, you still gotta have a little sun defense. And then we're gonna take out these curls and see what she's giving. Oh, but I mean, I haven't even looked outside. I I got here so late and then like, I never got to like see what it looks like. I'm so close to the airport, so yeah. I need something on my lips. I need, did I not put a lip balm in here? I swear it's getting crusty right now and we can't have that. And let's see. But you know what I noticed though? I missed a spot last night and I think that I noticed and I just, I was too tired to care. Look at the red. Look at the red. Shit, how did I curl? Oh, fuck a duck. I put it this way too. Oh my gosh, she's getting Shirley Temple. <laughs> I'm gonna curl them out. I didn't bring any like oil to put in my hair. Bro, because it was straight like on the website because you know I've never filmed before. So I'm like checking everything and they barely even check my shit. I'm like, okay, I did all this. <laughs> but I guess it's better to be like more prepared than underprepared. And like with me, I've been packing since like I've been packing all week actually. Oh, don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Please. Yes, okay. Wait, can I get this to go this way? There we go, there we go. I was like, why is she? There we go, I knew I did it right. So let's give her a shake. Oh, I know I'm not being disrespected like this. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Let's see. Let <laughs> after a while. So I'm gonna just comb these out just to give it a little bit of stretch. And like, I forgot that I put like all these mad layers in there. I look like the Mad Hatter, y'all. Okay, I have heat protectant spray. Girl, there we go. Oh. This is basically like, oh, That's what we were needing. Just something to to tame the hair because I don't know what it's gonna look like in a few hours. It, there, it's so flat on the top. Shit. Anyways, okay. So we're gonna get dressed and we're gonna head out and then we're going to start babies. Okay, bye. We're back. I already changed. I got my starts. I don't, y'all know I don't drink caffeine, but since I've been up so early, I figured, well, fuck it. I might as well, because I got a lot to do. And I think I might take a, a nap spurs when I get back. But I just now got the access codes. Just right now. Because your girl was struggling last night. Like, thank God there was like an angel that came in and was just like, are you trying to get in? I'm like, yes. Yes. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna fucking watch Daria for a, like a little bit and then I'm gonna start on my makeup. I'm, it's actually my first time taking the metro and I'm taking y'all with me because yikes. 
I'm like legit nervous. And I'm gonna let this water down. I'm just taking like little sips here and there. Um, it's actually really fucking good. I'm, I'm excited to go get my cap and gown and take some pictures. So we're just gonna do like soft, soft glam. And yeah, tomorrow will be full glam pretty much. Uh, but yeah, it's too hot, so I'll, I'll, let's go inside. Let's go inside. We'll finish up our chat in a second. Hey, vlog. Ooh. She looking cute or whatever. Oh, my God. The camera isn't even doing justice, like, to the perfection. Nose is snatched. I feel like this side is a little more heavy. Okay, there we go. All right, I got to tape the titties. And then we're going to take the metro, and we're going to go to see Nikki and Abby. I'm so excited. I haven't seen Nikki since last month and I haven't seen Allie since high school, I think, or since middle school. I don't know, one of those. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. So let me, let me T, 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 triple T, tape the titties. <laughs> so we are on our way to the Metro. It's my first time taking public transport. And it's my first time walking, but honestly, it's not bad. I went, I had to run back because I forgot my pillbox. I don't have my Xanax with me, but it's okay. That must be the other one. Um, okay, that's the one that's going that way. Oh my God. I'm a little out of breath because I just had to go up three flights of stairs. But honestly, this is not a bad little walk. We're getting a hot girl walk in. Okay. Come on. For the metro, we got about five minutes, five, six minutes. <sighs> I'm nervous, but that's okay. Do it, do it nervous, do it scared, but do it. So, I'll check in later. One of my favorite people in the world, and I don't say that about most people, but she is. I'm just gonna run through the back. Zoom! <laughs> Bro, that was a walk. My little egg bites that I had this morning, they're at my ankles, honey. So I'm like, we're eating our little protein boa. This one's peanut butter, banana, and dark chocolate. Just how I like it. Denver is freaking gorgeous, that's what I will say. It's like completely different than like what I'm used to. Like walking around, it doesn't feel like downtown San Antonio does. <laughs> She's doing that Superman at home. <laughs> it's just, it's such a different vibe, like such a different atmosphere. And can we talk about the fact that it's like mid-July and it doesn't feel like you're gonna die out here? Like. But this is the fit, this is the fit. We got our little Shein. I take the titties as best as I could. I know if, if y'all could have seen me struggling. I need a tutorial to tape the titties. Do you know how to tape the titties? I know, I've seen like some tools to use, like blue tape. Uh-huh, that's what I got on. I was like, it's called blue tape? yeah. But I got the cheap one from Shein. When we go to Target, you gotta get the the boob tape. That yeah, was real. No? This is all she in. <laughs> Except for my, wait. Yeah, no, these are Fashion Nova. My bag, the bag inside my bag, the boob tape, the top, it's all she in. But they got hit with that Rico. So I wonder if they're gonna like. I mean, it's fast fashion, so. They should never let them influencers go back there. We could have kept our 899 tops, but no. So we're gonna hit the bell coat. I'm gonna get my cap and gown. It's getting fucking real. Like it's, like it's already not real. Like I can't believe I'm actually here doing this. And I was sitting there in the Metro and I'm like, holy crap, I'm actually fucking doing this. I'm just really proud of myself. Cause like I say I'm gonna do something and I do it. 
And that's how you honor yourself is by standing by your commitments. Because if nobody else is going to show up for you, at least like you showing up for yourself is enough. Because that's like my one thing that I, even though I told my dad, I don't depend on anybody to come through for me, which is kind of like a negative connotation because I don't want to be disappointed. But at the same time, it's because I know that I got me at the end of the day, like I am with me 24 seven. I am my biggest, uh, I'm my best friend. I am my advocate. I am my lover. I am my peace. I am my joy. So, oh, those were just affirmations. I felt that. I felt that. Oh my God, I got chills. And it's just, you know, that's self-love. And honoring yourself is part of self-love. So I may not like the flying part, but shit, we we in this. <laughs> and I just can't look out the window in the metro. No, I can't. I cannot do it. So I'm gonna finish this up. We're gonna get dueled and we're gonna head out. We're gonna hit the town. We're gonna hit the streets. Cause we ain't for the streets, but we hitting it. <laughs> I'm a hot ass mess, y'all. Okay, love you, bye. We're in our Uber. <laughs> We're heading to the Belco. This is actually really nice. Did y'all venture out much yesterday? We went to a couple of like just 7 Elevens. We walked around. We went to that 7 Eleven. We went to like the this other restaurant, but then it was closed because we did bad left early. Ah. Uh, so. That's when y'all were, were trying to eat at last night, right? Yeah. We went to Meow Wolf yesterday, so like the venture we did. I don't even know what to say. Nikki's behind the camera. But I'm ready to take my pictures right now. And I'm trying not to cry because we can't mess up these lashes. We can't mess up the mascara, the liner. No, this is this is artwork. That part. Yes, <laughs> yes. You know you know what I'm yes. talking about. Yes. See? The girls that get it, get it. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what I would do without these two. Nikki's holding the camera. Ali's like legit like just looking out for me. <laughs> like fixing my tassels and I'm trying not to cry because they're like they're like serious. it's like what's the word is it serendipity mm -hmm. that they just happen to be here when I'm here because no if not I would have just been me myself and I and they're here help, helping me so. we're gonna take my pictures she might capture it I don't know will she we shall see <laughs> we gotta get that golden hour yeah oh ooh, that golden hour and I forgot my light at home. Or you don't need it with the golden hour. We don't need it? Okay. So, I'm excited. <laughs> We're here. And, um, yeah. Do the foot thing again. <laughs> In my Nikes, I'm like... <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's the ones. <laughs> Tomorrow it will be different. Tomorrow it will be bougie. Oh, thank you. Today we're keeping it cool, cute and cash. Tomorrow will be slay. Slay, slay, slay. It's always slay, pretty much. She's not wrong, y'all. Yeah. She's not wrong. Mm -hmm. Did you say your non-negotiables were? Non-negotiables are the brows and highlighter and a gloss. Because you can get away with pretty much everything. So if you got an extra minute, throw on a bronzer. But the brows. I can't leave without the brows because I'd be looking bald. Can't have that. Can't have that. No, no ma'am. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're almost there. We're still waiting in line and then we're gonna go shop. <laughs> Look at me have my own little videographer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Normally I'd be feeling weird about this, but I don't feel weird because I'm with my friends. I'll check in with you later. Three, two, one. Come on, text out to yourself. Three, two, one, hold it. Perfect. Next one. Three, two, one, hold it. All right, one more. Three, two, one. You had that plan now. That was perfect. Good job. You knew what you were doing. <laughs> See my first time at the rodeo. <laughs> 
Oh, it came out so good. On the first try. That, that's, that's how I the feel. One. That's the victory right there. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> Ali, get it. I don't know, it's probably very Amazon. wobbly. Amazon. That's it's what very wobbly. The tripod. <laughs> it's a little wobbly. I can feel it wobbling okay. on my head. But it's so we're here, if you don't have a GoPro, <laughs> get you an Amazon it. tripod and put it on your head. Yeah. 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 We're gonna what? find some place to eat and figure out where the food is on. Oh, Bear, my dog's name is Bear, and that's his collar color. The blue. The blue. Oh my god, I'm gonna <laughs> How? How is that Bear in Bear's color? I, I can't. I can't. We are on our way to the mall. We're hungry, we're famished, we're tired. <laughs> our food is to our ankles right now. Maybe to the pinky toe at this point. <laughs> We struggle. We're struggling. We're on the struggle bus right now. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. Um, <laughs> I'm stressed. Not as much anymore. Yes. <laughs> Not as much anymore. Thank God. Um, but yeah, we're we're doing the damn thing. I'll check in when we get to the mall. Hi vlog. We're listening to the Sacred Souls. So good. I can't find my tripod. It's stuffed in my bag. Like. Cap and gown. I'm still holding on to this one. I'm gonna try and finish it right now. We're gonna get ready and head over to um, Zia Apartments. Oh, girl, not the tape showing, not the tape. So yeah, we're vibing, we're chilling, and then we're gonna take the metro and go chill full side. Yeah. Anti Shein or Shein something. You'll you'll go down a rabbit hole. Cause Shein steals from artists. That I have seen. I have a friend who they stole from because <gasps> she has like 104,000 followers on her Instagram and like millions of followers on TikTok. Uh-huh. They stole her art design and put it on phone cases for like fucking a dollar fifty. Not a dollar fifty. Two dollars. Ain't that some shit? <sighs> oh my god. So I guess I'm gonna stop shopping at Shein. Yes, you better. Like that. That is so pretty on you. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm definitely going to need to take a Zofran because we have just been going in circles. Literal circles. Literal circles. And like this is the only Uber ride getting back here where they actually took us to the actual spot that we're supposed to go to. I think so. Either that or he was, you know. They're just like sagged. This titty tape don't work. Fuck Shein. <laughs> okay. We think it's the elevation. <laughs> Why I'm feeling a little... <laughs> so... Nikki just gave me some more water. Cheers. Are you drinking your water? I love the backdrop. really bad 
What is it? Elevation sickness? Oh uh, shit. This is <laughs> That doesn't make me nervous at all. <laughs> Given that people actually watch this, the few that do, thank you. Love you so much. Yeah. We were supposed to go to the pool and it got rained on. And I was like, my stomach was doing flips, so. Fine. How? The hoot, the how? Okay, here we go. You would think that she's done this shit before. I'm not a recovering alcoholic. No. I am. Eh. Hold the phone. Um. What the fuck would I do without these two? Okay, so we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this right. Oh, that was a crispy pop. Mm. <laughs> How far do I fill it up to the to the to the brim? Brianna! <laughs> so fucking pretty dude i'm obsessed cute rebees i'm in love i'm obsessed cheers hey vlog um if i can just like be myself for a moment and just tell y'all like this trip has been it's been the hardest trips ever because I thought something was wrong with Drogan. Felt sick almost all day. Actually, I was <coughs> sick from all the, the stress. I've been so good at masking how I feel. I can, I can put on a smile and, you know, pretend like everything is okay, but in reality, I wanted to pass out. I wanted to vomit. My stomach was just like, and jumbles, I couldn't think straight. And I felt like I was gonna faint sometimes. I thought my legs were gonna give out on me. Like, this is just all that I've experienced today. And I'm grateful, like, for my friends. Like, it just the way, like, the universe synchronizes everything for them to be here is just unreal because. I don't know what I would have done if I was just by myself. Tomorrow's the big day, and this is like the way that I'm feeling like, like I just don't want to be here anymore. It's past midnight, I should be asleep, and I can't because I'm just like fucking stressed out. And I don't think I want to do this again. I don't think I'm ever going to come back here. I feel like. Like this trip has just changed a lot. It's changed a lot of my perspectives on, on things, on a lot of things. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm ready to go home. Hey vlog. We're in the dress. It actually is fitting the best that it's fit this whole entire time. Um, I'm about to put this my uh, gown, my tassels, and my sash on, and order my Uber. I'm taking my shoes with me. I'm not wearing the sparkly ones. It's, uh, we're, we're here, we're here. We're making it happen. So yeah, let's go graduate. Congratulations today, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Hey vlog. We are here at the convention center. Um, you saw probably a little portion of this sweet man. He saw me walking in the convention center. He's like, miss, and I thought that he was gonna um, like ask to see my bag. But he's like, let me give you a ride. And I'm like, okay. No, these tears will not stop, y'all. So I'm just, I'm here by myself, like 
in a corner like Cinderella, per usual. <laughs> just trying to gather myself and it's just, it's really hard. I miss my family, I miss Drogan and, um, you know, I know that grandma and grandpa are with me. I know Uncle Johnny's with me. I know Uncle Freddy's with me. I know Bear's with me. And uh, last night was really rough. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to get into why, but uh, just made me really think about things. And um, I'm, like, I'm excited. Don't get me wrong. Everybody's here, like, congratulating me, and it feels good just wish my family like was here present um but it's okay it's okay um so i bought myself a teddy bear and i bought myself a jacket because it's fucking cold at night <laughs> and um my mom doesn't know this but she's gonna pick me up from the airport and i'm gonna be i'm gonna have this on when she picks I, when she picks me up so it'll be like a, a surprise like she'll still get to see me in this even though i'm not like even you know even though she's not here like i just don't want to give her that chance like to see me like this <laughs> nikki will be here later at 1 30 and um it'll be good it's gonna be good i've already pretty much packed my stuff it's ready to go i'm gonna get myself right <laughs> Drogan stack on. Drogan, we're locked in for life in the color of his um, his collar. It's lighter than bears. And then the moon and star. Which is actually what I saw in the air. Dad bought me this ring at Passover and then this ring is from Uncle Johnny so that way Uncle Johnny's still with me even though he's not here. I can't be like crying like this y'all. I'm having a real fucking moment. I'm just trying to get myself right before I go and like line up and take pictures because I can't like my face is puffy I've been crying like I'm very grateful I'm grateful to be here you always keep an attitude of gratitude but you also have to be realistic about things and like just honoring how you feel and I just like I'm very alone like I'm doing all this on my own I mean Nikki has been like the best like the best of literal angel and I'm just like the way that God caused everything to just synchronize where she would be here like the day that I'm graduating for her to be able to like show up and I mean she could be doing anything else but she's like choosing to sit at my ceremony just so she could see me walk the stage like that's like a real fucking friend like sacrifice like that because she didn't have to she doesn't have to I got I have this jacket, so navy blue. I wanted it in maroon, but they they literally like sold out. I would have bought it yesterday, but I didn't know. And then I got myself a, a teddy bear. Because if you know me, you know I love like my stuffed animals. And that's like pretty much it. Like this is all I've spent on myself, besides from the two pairs of sunglasses at Target. Everything else has just been Uber and like food. I'm really proud of myself too. How I've been able to not like overspend and just be like real wise about like where my money's going, all of that. And everybody here has just been like so kind. It's that, that, especially that gentleman that brought me here. Like, I think it was an angel for real. But it's a valid emotion to feel this way, you know? first time traveling by myself like it's not easy everybody's like oh you're so strong you're so brave and it's like i do everything scared i do it nervous i do it scared i do it anxious but i still do it so i don't think it's like that i'm stronger that i'm brave i think it's just that i'm resilient and persevere i don't know but yeah i am um I'm a nervous wreck and I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to see me like crying because y'all feel like she's graduating, she doesn't have anything to be sad about. It's emotional, okay? It's emotional. You know, flash forward four years later, here we are. Thank you. Um, 
I just never thought that I would see this day happen because I didn't think I'd ever be going back to school. I mean, now here I am with my degree. <laughs> okay, so positive note. How are we going to end this on a positive note? Because I don't want y'all just to see me crying. Um, so, as of today, I will be a first gen Latina graduate in my family. I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm excited, I'm, you know, all that. But I'm here, you know, I didn't give up. And I think that that's just uh, a testament to the last four years of school. So, I'm gonna go check in now, and I will see y'all after I graduate. Congratulations. Thank you. Roblox, well, as I wait for my parents, I might as well update y'all. I came home early because there was no reason for me to stay. And I'm not going to get into it any further. But I'm with my parents, and they have no idea that I'm dressed like that, like this. And I'm really excited. I'm just more so just glad to be home. I'm happy to be back in San Antonio. I am not traveling anytime soon. Um, but the ride home was like so nice. That wine put my ass to sleep. So I love y'all so much. And this is the conclusion of the vlog. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.